Army Expeditionary Warrior Experiment 2019, otherwise known as AWE, continues a campaign to modernize small units. AWE is a cornerstone among several standalone Army Future Command experimentation venues that are critical to modernize the force in the near and midterm time horizons. This prototype and strategy enables frequent and iterative feedback to reduce operational risk for senior leader modernization decisions. AWE is an Army Futures Command effort, but equally supports the MCO and its Dutton PF force proponent responsibilities. The Capabilities Development and Integration Director at CDID and our Maneuver Battle Lab team is working closely with cross-functional teams in identifying technology and capabilities that can immediately be exploited in establishing a vision for the future. Most importantly, it brings together scientists, engineers, and American, British, and Australian soldiers and industry to solve problems and visualize future capabilities. It serves to rapidly evolve current programs of record, offer insights to OSD and Army science and technology investment portfolios, facilitates industry investment decisions, and visualizes how small units can achieve overmatch against adversaries with a critical eye for how to fight, organize, evolve doctrine, and modernize training. AEWE assesses prototype capabilities and emerging concepts through a series of live fire and tactical force-on-force -force missions against a free-thinking, high-tech opposing force. Soldiers participating in AEWE provide feedback and assist in concept refinement that enables rapid development of new tactics, weapons, and technology solutions. AEWE 2016, 2017, and 2018 accelerated the development and fielding of the Black Hornet Soldier Born Sensor, SBS, to a program of record, providing our squads with a marked advantage in knowing where threat forces are or not on the battlefield. Our small unit mission command system, Net Warrior, is a staple within the AEWE campaign. We continue to look at ways to optimize this system to better serve our small units. The goal for each brigade fielding the system is to be more capable, soldier-friendly, and intuitive. AEWE 2019 assessed technologies and concepts focusing on small unit lethality, sustainment, mobility, mission command, survivability, and training. Some highlights include the improved variants of the M72 Law shoulder-launched munition demonstrated increased capability to fire from inside buildings and destroy targets in defile. Also demonstrated was the novel capability to mount the Law rocket on a drone, allowing infantry platoons and companies to engage the enemy from the air. The 9mm enhanced ball round demonstrated required accuracy and superior penetration against various barriers to deliver improved performance over currently fielded munitions. Even as we exploit the third dimension, threat forces are also proliferating this battle space. We're looking at low-cost counter UAS systems, one of which is a 12-gauge anti-drone shotgun round designed to effectively down low-flying UAS that threaten security. We continue to evaluate unmanned aerial capability improvements such as UAS extended flight time, better imagery, and integration, which will influence how small units fight. Experimentation efforts are enhanced through a collaborative relationship with our closest allies. The U.S. Army's AEWE and the British Army's Army Warfighting Experiment, or AWE, are similar and complementary experiments conducted in support of modernization efforts focused on the soldier and small units. A reciprocal exchange of forces between the U.S. Army and the British Army was formalized in 2017 in an effort to enhance the synergy of allied collaboration and accelerate learning. In November 2018, a U.S. infantry platoon traveled to the U.K. to participate in the British Army's Army Warfighting Experiment. This year's AEWE included further allied collaboration with an Australian reconnaissance team joining the experiment. As the Army Futures Command evolves the AEWE campaign and others like it, it is important to provide the opportunity for frequent and iterative reviews of concepts, capabilities, and technologies. Industry and Army labs have already proven that they can implement soldier feedback faster than the Army can revisit. 
Standard evaluation events provide the opportunity for scientists, engineers, industry, and operators to keep moving forward to accelerate decision making. I would like to thank you on behalf of the United States Army and the Maneuver Center of Excellence for the invaluable support and cooperation you provided during AWE 2019. Your expertise and clear understanding of the Army capabilities gaps and the desire to equip our soldiers with unsurpassed capabilities that will enhance their survivability and increase their lethality, thus ensuring we maintain dominant overmatch on the battlefield. The success of our soldiers on the battlefield is directly influenced by the innovation and collaborations of our industry partners, allies, and government agencies. If you haven't participated in AWE, I encourage you to get involved. Bring us your ideas, concepts, and technologies, and help us maintain our status as the most dominant land force in the world. We look forward to your support and innovations for our continued success. Thank you very much.